Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3, where we last left off. We infiltrated Castle McNeil, made our way through a bunch of very lazy guards, and were asked by one of these lazy guards to take out this dog, because the dog was meant to guard the door, and if this dog lives, he will be getting in trouble because he's not doing his job, which he's not, because he's sitting there smoking. But, uh, yeah. I guess we can take out this dog, since it will help us uh, in our quest here doesn't seem right picking on a little dog like this ray a little dog tipo this dog's bigger than you are would you say the same thing if he'd bitten your butt <laughs> while you were climbing over the wall tipo very true ray very true rather this than another new let's do it true that and all right our uh, first boss of the area it's not very difficult of a boss the first thing you want to do is pilfer a uh which we call a vitamin from this boss. That's really the only thing he has. Other than that, you want to examine the boss, which is the more important thing, because he has an ability called Snap, which is a very, very useful ability uh, to grab now, because you won't be able to grab it for a long while. And awesome, t po learned Snap. Nice. Right then and there. Yes, yeah, so if you want to learn an ability quick, the best thing to do definitely is to uh, you know, just learn it right away with all your characters that way you know once you learn it and the more characters you have the more chances you have of learning it since they're all trying to learn it at the same time and only one character can learn ability at a time you cannot have multiple abilities on each character if you the uh boss itself though isn't very difficult he doesn't do that much damage there's not really much to it just uh be careful and don't let ryu die because ryu is kind of weak at this point if you can, try and blind the dog, and the dog won't do it that much damage. Ooh, yeah, like you saw there, Ryu can't take that much hits. But yeah, if uh, Ryu takes too much damage, just drop a healing herb on him and go all out on him. I'll keep trying to spam blind. Might as well. So, uh, yeah, other than that, this boss is kind of boring. So... I guess I'd like to talk about my channel really quick. Uh, I've been getting a lot of very nice reviews on my channel, and people have been saying that they like what I do. But uh, I'd like to hear more from you guys. Uh, any suggestions you have, any comments, questions, just let me know, and uh, I'll get right back to you. I do like answering questions. I like seeing comments on my channel. It makes me you know, feel like I'm at least a part of the community, and I like answering any questions you guys have. So uh, feel free to say anything, really. And uh, I usually get back to everyone I see uh, with a question if I feel like I have a appropriate answer for the question. So don't be shy. There we go. Got a nice blind on him. Now he shouldn't be too uh, difficult to take out. See if I can throw a heal up on... Tipo. Now that this boss is blind, he's pretty harmless, I would think. Except on Ryu, because Ryu has almost no health. But, uh, this won't be for long, though. Now that Ryu has gotten his, uh, master, I will be leveling him now. I will not be killing him off each boss anymore, because that was a little, little silly. And I did that mainly so I can get to this master and have Ryu train at masters from level 1. It is definitely good to do so if you are going the route of masters, because masters are very, very useful to have. And, you know, just... It's good to have the training. It makes your characters buffed a specific way, and it allows you to, you know, set up your characters in a tactical way as opposed to just in a normal way. Now that the boss is pretty much almost dead, you can just go all out and take him down. Oh, nice shot, Rio. He should be almost dead. There's only so much health he has. There we go. You won a great victory, 19 experience, Ryu became level 2. Awesome. Alright, let's go see what this guard has to say now that the dog is dead. See, this way, the dog will get all the blame, not me. 
I'm off the hook, yeah? I guess so. You're still gonna get in trouble because we're kind of walking around and you're not doing anything because you're just sitting there doing nothing. Oh, jeez. Lazy, lazy. All right. And now we... The next thing we want to do is talk to these people here. Wait, what's Mina doing over there? I better go make sure she's all right. She's got a guy creeping on her. Let's go see what's going on. Even though we don't know who this is. Oh, well. M -m mina w Would you like to spend some time with me? Oh, jeez. I don't know. Standard bunch of guys like the same girl and she just doesn't know what to do with them. The next thing you want to do is talk to this guard. I wonder what Mina's doing now. What? You say Mina's here? With another man? That's terrible! I can't believe it! <laughs> oh jeez, we got a love triangle going on here with this girl. Oh well. The next thing you want to do is go right into this hut. Into this chicken coop of sorts. A chicken coop. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I had a little technical difficulty. Since we can't get in the house because of all the guards, why don't we just steal some eggs and go home? Yeah, that's a good idea, Tipo. Um, I don't think so. Aren't you setting your sights a little low there, Tipo? Well, I agree. We were going to steal a lot of money from a very rich man, but now all you want is eggs? Jeez. Whoa, Ray! Uh, what? Oh my god, a giant chicken. M maybe I should put them back, huh, Ray? I don't think that'll make him happy. And yes, the next boss we have to fight is a giant chicken. Oh, jeez. The first thing you want to do is use Pilfer on the chicken. He has a very useful item called a life shard, which will, I believe, increase your HP by one. Something like that. He also has an ability called Jump, which he just used, and you definitely want to learn that as soon as possible. You can learn it inside of the next area we go to, but if you can, try and learn it now. That way it's out of the way. Now that we have learned Jump, the best thing to do is just go all out on the boss here. The ability Jump is very useful for a weaker character. It's not that reliable, but it can be very powerful at times if you're lucky. What it does is it does a random damage amount. If you're lower level, like right now, it would do anywhere between 1 and 25 damage. But, uh, best thing to do here, not once you have the ability, is just go all out. He has an ability called Ovum, which he just used now. It's the only really dangerous ability he has outside of his jump ability, which is his damage ability. Ovum, if it works, will turn a party member into an egg and render him useless for about five turns. It's very annoying at times, so try to kill the boss as soon as possible and grab that life shard. And if possible, blind him, because if be a blind enemy can't do much to you. Oof. It's always nerve-wracking when he jumps on Ryu, because if it does a lot of damage, Ryu is dead. Oh, come on, Ryu. You can blind him. I just want my life shard. Take that. Uh, it's always such a pain to steal stuff from these bosses, because it doesn't always work, and sometimes you get it really quick. Sometimes you don't. It's, it's all based on luck sometimes. But if you're persistent, usually you do get the item before the fight is over if you're lucky. <laughs> and there's that Ovum attack again. Please don't do it on Ray. He's supposed to be... Ugh. Pain. The good thing about the uh, Ovum attack, when it does wear off, you get all of your health back, which is kind of cool. And your mana, I believe, as well. Oh well, if we don't get the life shard, it's not a big deal. There we go. He's been blinded. Awesome. That'll make things 
infinitely easier, and now I can just use my uh, mana to heal. Silly birdie. Healy hoo! <laughs> it's so cute when he says that. Hopefully I can get Ray back really soon, because this not having steel is really annoying. Don't use it on him again. This bird really does not want me to steal his uh, life shard. Oh well, if we don't get it, it's not a big deal. We could always get it more later. There's ways of grinding items like this, but it's a lot more tedious than just getting it from the bosses now. And the earlier you get them, the better. At, by the point when you can take them, it's not really worth it, but eh, it's not a big deal. And we gain 29 experience, and everyone is leveled up. Level 3, level 7, we've learned some moon, and level 7 for Ray as well. And we have unleashed the chickens! <laughs> Whoa, what's happening? Eek! The chickens, they're escaping! Close the gates! Everyone after the chickens! Rocky's been acting up again. Yeah, we attacked him. Boy, that worked better than we could have hoped for. We should be able to get into the house real easy now. Very true. Alright. And now that we have taken out the boss, we should uh, heal up if we can, but I don't think we have any mana for that anyway. Do we have any items for that? Yes, we do. Let's just use it on Tipo really quick so he is at high, uh, has high enough HP. If you go right up here, there's an item you can grab right in the corner here. You might have been able to see it from the hut. It's just a firecracker though, nothing too important. And all right, let's make our way down to uh, this way. Now that the guards are running around chasing chickens, there are a lot of guards that not are not at their post, so we can make our way around to where we need to go, which is actually right here. There would have been a guard here and here blocking your path, but now there's not. But uh, we are almost out of time, so in the next episode, we will infiltrate this house here and make our way into the McNeil Mansion where we will steal lots of monies. So uh, this is Game Freak RD signing off, and I will see you in the next episode. See you later.